there guys and welcome to the show where I report on the latest in gaming news and if you enjoyed today's video please don't smack the like button as always and now let's jump to our first report of the day. And our first news report of the day is about females and video games. This goes for real life and inside the video game. Basically if you look at it over time more and more girls have started to play video games because it mostly if you look at it has always been a guy sort of thing. I know it sounds odd but I guess that's just the truth and even when you take it to the video game part of everything, all the lead game characters are always dudes. Well, not always, but the majority of them are men, and if you do have a default preference to start the game with, it's usually the default as a guy. So, now, one of the biggest games out there, Minecraft, has actually changed this. As you guys know, when you start playing Minecraft, the default character is Minecraft Steve. However, that has changed because now you will have a choice of Steve or Alex, and Alex is a new female character. Now, Notch has stated that Steve is just meant to represent humans, you know, just a human body shape and not meant to represent gender in any sort of way. It's just the character there to start the game off with. So yeah, let me know your thoughts on this and should more games do this? Or should it just be, you know, based on the character that they create for the story? Personally, I'm not too bothered because, well, I play video games, I enjoy them for the stories and the characters that they already are. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below what you think. But anyway, moving on to our next gaming news report of the day and some pretty cool tech news. And it's that a video showcasing Windows 10 streaming from the Xbox One to your PC has been shown off. As you guys can see on screen, this is all happening seamlessly and it looks incredible. Basically, you've got the game running on the Xbox One, you can go to another room and have it running on your tablet or your laptop or it just on another PC in a different room. There's no lag or delays or anything like that, it runs real time and it's definitely worth checking out the entire video because it does look pretty damn cool. This will be available on launch of Windows 10, so look out for that. But anyway, now to our final news report of the day and it's to do with the the Witcher 3 because a full 15 minute video of The Witcher 3 running on PC in Ultra has come out and it looks just insane. It's not just the graphics but this game it just it looks awesome. The gameplay I, I, I just can't wait for The Witcher 3. Now if you do want to check out this full video and I definitely recommend that you guys do go check it out in the description down below. It's about 15 minutes long as I said it's worth checking out. So there you have it that is our gaming news for today. Hopefully you guys enjoy it and now, Gorilla Man, please hand me that question. Thanks, Gorilla Man. Okay, guys, and the question is what is your gamer tag and what is the meaning behind it? So put your answer in the comment section down below, and you can have the next show in today's video. Make sure you smack the like button because I'm Champ Max. It's only a little bit of Oh, and a quick thing here at the end of the video, if you've bothered to watch all the way through, um, check out my Twitter. I'm giving away some codes to the PC version of WWE 2K15, so, yeah.